Hey guys, and welcome back to the Tammy Hudson Pillar podcast. Well, it is my honor to have you join me not only in the podcast, but on our YouTube video. And I have Kimberly Fletcher with us for Moms for America. And we are actually here at Influence Church right now, and we are doing a Moms Rise Summit. And it is such a powerful, powerful day seeing moms come from all over Orange County, California, LA County, Santa Bernardino County. They're all coming together because moms care and moms know this is our time. It is our hour to rise up. So I grabbed Kimberly really quickly. We're on our lunch hour. And I said, would you please come and address my audience and people that really care about moms and talk to us a little bit about what we can do in this moment in history to make a difference for our children and our children's children. So first of all, Kimberly, thank you for being here. What a gift. We just met today, and yes. I feel like we're kindred spirits. Uh, um, that's obvious. <laughs> it's amazing because we have a heart for family. We have a heart for children. Um, and boy, I have to first of all confess, I didn't even know about this ministry until just recently when you asked to come and host here at the church. But you've been around for 16 years? Yes, yes. Moms. So it started off with just Moms for America because you had a heart as a mom for America and for your children. Can you tell us the story? Yeah, it was 2004, and um, I don't know if, if you've read A Wrinkle in Time, but it, when I would explain this during the time frame, moms would, would connect with it. But it's it's a story about um, this family that gets caught up in this time period where there's this this big great nothing that's, that's, that's flooding the universe, and it's starting to come to the earth, and it's this darkness that's coming over, and they, it feels like it's just looming down. And during the 2004 election, I kept talking to moms, and, and they felt like they would expect Explain that. Like they felt like there was like the like the roof was caving in. And I said, Have you read a wrinkle in time? And they'd be like, Yeah, it's like that. And so it was like the great dark nothing. And it was holding back. And as I was going around and talking to moms, they would say, you know, don't bother giving me information uh, about this election because I'm not voting in this election because I feel it's too important and I don't want to make the wrong choice. Wow. And yeah, I was kind of blown away by that. But you know, I had only been really involved in elections and and civic responsibility for about four years myself. I'm, you know, I was raising my children, um, make, making my home, supporting my husband, serving in our church and our community, and I, you know, I just live in my life. And and suddenly, you know, 9/11 happens, and my life changed. My husband was stationed at the Pentagon on 9/11, and through a series of miracles, he came home that day. And that was the day I went from being patriotic to being a patriot. And as I went around in 2004 and started talking to moms, I realized they don't understand what, what we're facing. They don't understand what's coming. And so I, I spent a lot of time in prayer, and I, I remember um, the Lord just speaking to my heart and saying, I need to start a national organization. I knew it was supposed to be about women and about freedom, but I'm like, that's all I got. And so I was sitting and talking to my mom one day, and I was telling her about this, and, and I said, Mom, I just don't know what to call it. She didn't laugh at me. <laughs> she just said, well, why don't you call it what you know? I'm like, what do I know? I'm just a mom and a homemaker. And she said, well, maybe you should call it Moms for America. And I was like, uh, okay. So I did. <laughs> and, and then, but then I started, I get, didn't, you know, you don't realize you're arguing with the Lord until you, until you suddenly realize there is no inner voice. You're talking to the Lord. And, and I kept saying, you know, why me? I, I, I'm not qualified to do this. There's so many people who will do it better and know so much more. And God put it on my heart and he said, yes, but they'll do it their way. And I want it done my way. So and good. he knew I would have to do it on my knees. Mm -hmm. And that is how this organization started mm -hmm. and how it's been running. Oh, how beautiful. And you're speaking to our audience because they know that I'm a prayer walker, I'm a prayer warrior. And, you know, as much as I'm fighting, I mean, we just heard so much information in the last um, session that we just had that I walked away sad and my heart broke. But also as a warrior, I want to fight because what's happening in our schools for our children right now. So I can't, I can't do anything about what I didn't know before, but I can do something about what I know now. And it's now for me as a mom to rise up to love my country. I love what you just said. You went from being patriotic to a patriot. It's time for patriots to rise up and the information that we're hearing right now in our school. So talk to us a little bit about the mom that's listening right now, because all of you guys that have stood up to speak, I was just a mom and look at me now. I'm running for school right. board or Congress or this or that. <laughs> for such a time as this, there are Esthers and Debras out there for this moment. God is using women in a yeah. miraculous way right now. And so let's talk to the women. First of all, how do they get in touch? with you? Where do they get information? Um, I love these these cottage um, cottage meetings, meetings. <laughs> we're starting one here. Oh, I've already got awesome. three women that's that just awesome. came to me today and said, let's start with Pastor Tammy. So 
that's happening, get in touch with me, because we need to know about our country. We need to know about, yeah. about our freedom. This is our right and our voice. So tell the women, how do we get in touch with you? How do we follow you? How do we become educated? So you can come to momsforamerica.us. Um, I wouldn't bother with the social media platforms. We've been pretty much deplatformed from all of them. Wow. <laughs> they don't want moms connected. They don't want us supporting each other. They don't want us sharing information or even asking questions. So... Um, if you come to momsforamerica.us, we have a new website that's going to be launching soon, which is going to be even better than the one we have now. But all the resources, tools, and support are there. And we're there. I mean, we actually have real people that answer the phone, and yeah. we can help you where yeah. you are. Yeah. And we have moms mentoring moms in various communities across the country. So the, the thing that I really want moms to know is that whole phrase, just a mom, that's the three most powerful words <laughs> that you could ever say. Um, I, I, want, I want them to know just how powerful their influence mm -hmm. is. Mm -hmm. And, and you don't have to do everything. And I, I know at the end of, at the end of today, I'm, I'm hoping, um, and, and as I'm talking to moms now, I'm hoping that you understand that when you realize what's going on and how dark it is and how big it is and how it's directly going after your children, it could be overwhelming. And, and like you said, it makes you sad. And, and, and yeah, the last thing I want is for moms to put their head you know, under the pillow mm -hmm. and go, well, I can't do anything about it. Mm -hmm. So every single person on this earth is a child of God. And and God has specifically put his hope in the mothers of America Amen. because he knows that we are the ones who nurture the future of America. Whatever America is going to look like in 10, 20, 30 years from now, we're nurturing that in our homes today. And grandmas, oh my gosh, the influence that you have with your daughters, your sons, your, your grandchildren is profound. So when God touches your heart, he leads you to where you, where you need to go, where you can be effective. He has been teaching, nurturing, and inspiring his children, especially his daughters, over the course of the last couple of decades. And, and now he's like turning on the switch and saying, okay, now take what you've learned and go do this thing. So we don't have to, we don't have to do everything. Each one of us just has to do something. Mm -hmm. And when we all come together, we are doing monumental things oh, so as, a, as a collective group of moms coming together. You know, Kimberly, you said that phrase and we've all said, I'm just a mom. And in my spirit, I heard the Lord say that's yielded to God. That's right. I'm just a mom that's yielded to God because you're right. Everything I heard today didn't make me want to put my head in the sand. It made me want to do something. And I, I think that's what we're doing both here at Influence Church and Women of Influence in our movement is it's our time. We will look back in history, mark my words, we will look back in history at this moment and say, I was a part of that movement. Not only a movement of revival, but a movement of renewal, yes. a, a movement for our country to be renewed and restored. And it's on our watch. It's in on our hearts right now to do that. So, so Kimberly, um, one last thing, how can we pray for you? How can we pray for you and your ministry and your team? Um, you're going all over the country right yeah. now. You've got a summit coming up, uh, I believe in Orlando yes. shortly coming up and, um, man, women are rising up. What, what can we pray for you, your family and the ministry for? Oh, I love that you mentioned my mm. family. <laughs> I think yeah. praying that my family will, will continue to, to be strong when I'm not there. Yeah. Um, they're great and they've been very supportive, but it's it's hard. It's hard when you're out there and you're away so long um, from your family. So praying for my family would, would be um, incredibly helpful. Um, I would really just appreciate some prayers on my behalf. Um, sometimes this gets hard and weighty. And, I, and I'll ask my husband, you know, what happens when the cheerleader is depressed, you know, because there is so much coming at us. And he'll tell me, go look at those comments and those, those emails that you got from those moms yesterday and then realize get up and keep going, you know, yeah. but, but having those prayers of courage and, and discernment yeah. and wisdom to knowing what to say, when to say, and who to say it to. Uh, and as an organization, we just want to do what the Lord wants us to do. So mm -hmm. we want to reach as many moms as we can and, and praying for um, the financial support, the, the resources, the, the right people to be in the right place, um, being able to reach as many moms as we can and continue to build this movement. Those are powerful prayers that we pray every day, and we sure appreciate them anytime we get amen. them. Amen. So right now in my spirit, I feel we need to just do that. That's great. That there's people listening that can financially help this organization. And right now, if you're saying, I don't know what to do, but I can write a check. And honestly, I know that it takes money to put on events like this That's and to right. make a difference. And you know, that may be the calling that God gave you. He, and when the founding of this country, there were those who funded the war, Absolutely. there were those who stood on the front lines, and there were those who supported it from the back. Absolutely. And that's what we need now. Yeah. So if you're feeling led to do that, they can reach you. How can they reach you if they wanted to make a financial contribution? Yeah, they can go to momsforamerica.us. Um, really, the best way to go is um, contact us at moms 
uh, at momsforamerica.net. And, uh, and you can also call us directly at 937-477-5200. One more time. 937-477-5200. I believe that God has something coming your way financially. I believe that there, if for no other reason somebody needed to hear, they're a mom that cares about America and they can financially help. And then I want to pray for your family because I know what it's like having my husband with right now American faith and what's happening. We laid down in bed the other night and he looked at me and he said, baby, are you ready for this? Because all the years we've done ministry, we've never done anything like this where we've taken such a stand for our country and our rights. And so we stand unified with you. And I want to pray for you and your family right now, if we can do that. So if you'll join me right now in your spirit, um, if you're in a car, keep your eyes open. Um, if you're just listening in your room right now, if you would just lift up Kimberly and Moms for America, her team and what's happening. And right now in Jesus' name, Father, we come to you. There is no other name given among heaven by which we would be saved, redeemed, restored, or led than the name of Jesus. And God, we pray that you would open up pathways financially, um, emotionally, physically, for both Kimberly, for her family, for her team, and for this ministry. God, we pray that you would work in the moms of America to rise up and to speak up like we never have before. Would this be our Esther moment? Would this be our Deborah moment? Would we just intercede for this great nation, America? Would we get back to the the foundation of this country, the blood that was shed for the freedom that we have? And so I pray over this ministry, and I pray favor and abundance and increase in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, guys, you've been listening to the Tammy Hudson Pillar podcast, a little different than we usually do, but I felt very impressed to do this. It was very impromptu. I just grabbed Kimberly and said, do you have a minute? Can we do a podcast? And maybe it was for you. Maybe it was for you that needed to hear this message. Maybe you're a mom or like me, a grandmother, and you look into the eyes of those precious little children and you want a nation where your children or your grandchildren can go out on a cold summer night and ride their bicycle in freedom, to go to school without having a teacher try to teach them things that aren't biblical or or physically correct. So I'm telling you right now, there is a reason for this and you may be the reason. So I appreciate you joining us. I want to encourage you to join me on all of our platforms. You can follow me on Instagram or Facebook. Check me out at TammyHotsonPillar.com. We love you. We pray for you. God bless. Have a great day.